Hi everyone, uh, in today's video, I wanted to uh, take another look at the ISH app, uh, which is essentially a Alpine Linux x86 emulator uh, for the iPad and iOS. And uh, I already had two videos on it. There was some uh, popularity with it, people liked it. So this is a kind of a third installment of it and I hope to build on um, further. I know it's been a while since the last two, but uh, things kind of got a little out of hand, but uh, we're back at it, that's all that matters. And uh, today I wanted to install uh, SSH and see if we can use uh, a Mac or Windows or another Linux computer for, uh, to connect to the iPad ISH app and see if we can create a file and uh, just essentially see if we can actually get SSH working on the iPad. Uh, so let's go ahead and get uh, right into it. I've got some uh, quick instructions uh, written up here. Essentially, it's just installing the uh, uh, OpenSSH um, server. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the iPad and we'll start with that. So I already have this installed, so I'll probably get a warning saying that this was already done, but we'll do it anyway. So it's a APK add open SSH. Okay, so it already let me know that, hey, those packages are already there. That's perfect. And uh, what we're gonna do now is generate a uh, key gen. So it's SSH dash key gen dash A. Let's hit return. Okay, looks like that's done. And uh, for you, uh, since I already did this once in trial, uh, you'll, you might see it loading a little bit longer. So that's normal. And if you don't know your root password or you forgot it, uh, you can just reset it now, uh, P-A-S-S-W-D, -S and I'm gonna hit return and just reset mine again. It might say that it's too weak, which is fine. Uh, we're not doing anything very secure on here, just uh, kind of for trial and experimentation. But I hope to expand it over time. All right, so the, the, the root password has changed now. Uh, the next thing that we do have to do is make sure that root, enable, uh, root login via SSH is enabled. So uh, by default, uh, Linux disables that. So we'll do uh, echo. We're just gonna edit the SSH deconfig. Uh, you can go directly to the file and edit it that way, or you can edit it like this, whichever you prefer. From root, root, root login, yes. And where is that? That's gonna be an Etsy, oops, almost type, mistyped that. Etsy, SSH, SSHD, underscore, config. And hit return. Perfect. That looks good. And now we're gonna, um, now before we do that, uh, I'm going to close the app for a second and you need to find out what your um, IP address is. So go into the settings on your iPad or on your iPhone, wherever you're doing this. Uh, click on the Wi-Fi, hit the little info button there, all right, and then uh, you can get your IP address here. Uh, mine is ending in a 163, uh, 192.168.1.163. Uh, Yours might be a 10 or whatever you have it set it up at home as just make sure that the iPad and the computer are both connected to the same network uh, or Wi-Fi. All right, now uh, we're going to uh, do forward slash user, forward slash sbin, forward slash sshd. Oh, not found. You know what, that was actually my fault. Um, I was playing around with something. You won't see this error, uh, so just disregard this little bit that I do here. It's going to be, uh, uh, I'm just going to cd forward slash user forward slash sbin. All right, and I actually changed that file to sh, ssh old. Uh, I forgot to rename it. I was just doing some experimentation there. So we're going to use the cp command to change sshd old to ssh. D. There we go. Make sure that changed. All right, that looks good. Let's drop a couple of lines here. And 
see if we can get it connecting. Uh, so now I'm moving over to the Mac and we're going to do uh, SSH, oops, wrong keyboard, uh, SSH space root at 192.168.1.163, so return. And it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna trust this? We're gonna say yes, and hit return. Password, that's the one we just created for the root user. And there we are. You can tell that we're logged in because we've got our same uh, ASCII art here. And we're logged in via SSH to our iPad. Um, one thing to know is when the app is closed, it, the background app refresh is kind of wonky. So make sure that uh, when you call SSHD that you're not, um, uh, make sure that the basically the app is open whenever you're trying to do SSH because it won't it won't load it'll just uh, time out on you so just make sure that you're kind of uh, doing it in the same order otherwise you might get some errors all right and now that we have that let's see if we can navigate the file system and create a file using our Mac onto the iPad so right here from the uh, from the SSH terminal window I'm gonna do uh, cd forward slash, I can't remember what directory it was. I believe I had it in the home directory. So let's do cd forward slash home ls. Yep, there we are. So the Alpine files folder we created last time. We'll do cd alpine files. Oops, I spelled, that, I spelled alpine wrong. cd alpine files ls. All right, and we have a text.txt file in there. Let's go ahead and create another file called uh, SSH test, uh, nano SSH test.txt. And we'll hit return, there we go. And it says, hi, this is a test from SSH. And we'll just put an emoji there just for entertainment's sake. And I like this red firework. What is that, like an M80? All right, we'll do Control X to save, and then yes, and then return. All right, let's do another LS to see if it's actually in there. All right, ssh.txt is there. Um, so now what we can do is let's go back over to the iPad. This will most likely crash the uh, terminal connection we have up here, but that's okay. We know that we created the file. Let's go into our files folder, and there it is, SSH test, and we got our little, uh, we got our little uh, M80 firework there, so we know that worked successfully. Um, cool, and if any of this part of it is confusing to you, just make sure to watch the first or second video where we uh, created the mount directory so that we can have files communicating between the ISH app and the actual iOS, uh, iPad OS file system. So that was pretty sweet. Uh, I hope to do a little more on this more regularly now. Uh, I know that the last video was some time ago, but uh, things got a little crazy. So. That's good. Uh, I think we'll wrap it up from here uh, for this one, and uh, we hope to see you next time.